do you think we're going to do a little bit today? Yeah. Fantastic. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. So Read Two Ways is a strategy that we're using in mathematics to help kids make sense of word problems. So everyone, let's put our reading finger up, and I'm going to have my reading finger on our paper, and we're going to begin in one, two, three. And so in class today, you'll see us reading the problem two ways. The first time, we'll read Coralie. And then I'll pose the question, can you tell me what our story or what our problem is about, but I don't want you to use any numbers and I don't want you to solve the problem. So go ahead and turn and talk to your neighbor. What's my story about, friends? Because generally, if students are reading a word problem, they want to go straight to the numbers. And if I'm in an addition unit, kids are going to add the three numbers that are in the problem, regardless of what those numbers stand for or what they mean in the context of the story. Who can raise a quiet hand for me and tell me one thing our story is about? The story is about Ron making some blocks and Simon making some blocks. We Coralie read again and then we all pose the question, what numbers do we see in our story or in our problem and what do we think they represent, friends? Show me on your fingers one number that's in our problem. Show me on your fingers, boys and girls. <gasps> What number do you have on your finger? Ten. Ten! Ten what, friend? Ten blocks. Ten blocks! Agree if we saw that number and that unit in our problem. And then the key to read two ways is after we've read and looked at the contextualization in that first read and then the mathematical connection in the second, we use and employ a strategy called starts. And so I'll look around and see how kids start the problem and I'll call up individuals and have them present their work and explain to the class, how did you start the problem? So I read Simon makes eight towers of 10 blocks, so I do one tower of 10 blocks. And so when a student then goes to start his or her problem and they've drawn a tower, we can pose the question, tell me what's on your paper. And the student then would say, oh, I've drawn a tower and we could say why. Because Simon makes eight towers of ten blocks. Oh. Well, we're not done yet, right? Hopefully, thereby giving students that opportunity to have read the problem two ways and then seen how some other folks may have started the problem so that every single student has access to mathematics in that classroom. So well, I knew that Simon makes eight tire towers of ten blocks. So I drew a circle for a tower and then ten blocks in each. We know we have students who have difficulty starting the problem, but if they can just get started, then they can solve. Count it down to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And I know those all make 10, so, so that's what it starts with 80. So today, I tried to employ a couple pieces of student discourse, whole class, where if someone, if a student had a comment, I could then ask someone else who would like to add on to that. It's about Ron and Simon making some. Who would like to add on to what our story is about? Okay, my friend right there, what is our story about? But instead of me saying it, students are listening to each other. Go ahead. Ron and Simon are making blocks. Ron and Simon are making blocks. Oh, towers of blocks. Oh, they're making towers of blocks. Second piece is I do a lot of pair to pair. So we have A partner, B partner. This gives students the opportunity to compare strategy with a partner, to talk to one another, and to come to a deeper understanding. Oh, I What's 80 plus 9? Oh, 90. 80 plus 90. That's the hard one. And we are hopeful that students come to a greater and deeper understanding of mathematics through the strategies, but particularly their understanding that math exists in what we do every day. And so Read Two Ways really allows that entry point for students who may not have an understanding initially, but by the end of the process, we have students who go, oh, it's multiplication. And math all of a sudden has become like a live and part of the real world. Everyone raise your hand. Everyone give yourself a pat on the back. Fantastic day in Mathland. <laughs>